Now, in this challenge of becoming a professional polo player, uh, you will have heard me talk about the importance of not being a ball chaser, but being, being somebody who uses anticipation to make the ball chase you. There are many different ways of doing this, but the simplest one to explain is where you use uh, the middle of the field for one play in order to win the, um, the second play. Now, to take, to take a very basic example of this, so you see the number four here in the grey does a spectacular backhand, shall we say, out to here. This three has read it and has turned, and he's opposing two who was with him, gets his turn in later, and he finds himself there, and everybody would have turned away. Now, if, he, if he's not thinking, he gets out his whip and he tries to get across to that pony. That is totally uneconomical. He will kill his pony. He's very little chance of getting there before he does. And if he does get there, he himself will not have a shot. So, he says, I will get down the middle of the field first. That meanwhile, I mean, as you know, the whole game is highly mobile. And so while he's going across, he's getting down to the middle of the field here. And when he, at a certain point you get to judge it, he's looking, when that guy's about to hit, he's now well ahead of him, he starts to cut across here. Now the ball will go by him, and then he's got two choices. He will either have the near side backhand, or he will pretty easily win a rival to give him an offside back. But he is given away one hit to the opponents. But again, remember, the field is so big, certainly in low and medium goal, you can afford. You might say in high goal, the hit's so big. But even, even in high goal, it is stupid to go pointlessly, killing a pony to get somewhere you can't get.